Welcome to the Napa County Office of Education Student Achievement Awards. Students who receive this award have gone above and beyond in their pathway by demonstrating work ethics, teamwork, communication, and by being an overall leader in the classroom. Your teacher has chosen you for this award because you have demonstrated all of those leadership skills. We have put together a video for you that we hope you enjoy to celebrate you. We wish that we could all be together and we hope that you enjoy the video. Hi, I'm Brady Mitchell and I teach the woodworking pathway at Vintage High School. My student achievement award winner is Axel Hernandez. I drew wood trap because I've always been interested in making these in my hands. I'm not an artist who can draw or express myself through pen and paper, but I could make beautiful art with wood. I joined this class because I've tried the silent trade and was interested in making things with my hands. Wood trap teaches you how to use machines safely and what the limits to each machine are. Trades not only have taught me how to use math in real world settings, but have also taught me how to problem solve more efficiently and how to use materials more efficiently. Woodworking has shown me the basics of business and how to take into account the price of labor, materials, and how much something can be sold for. My plan is to go to college and study business with the goal to start my own company in the future. Hi, my name is Sean Sandal. I am the printing and graphics instructor at Vintage High School, and my student achievement award winner for 2020 is Enrique Dejaro. Take my first year of graphic design because it is a hands-on class where you can bring your creativity to life. By choosing this class and continuing into graphic design, I have the opportunity to experience and learn many things that you can experience in any other classes. In this class, we use graphic design softwares Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop to bring our best creativity and passion into designs. What I really like about this class is it's not your typical class where you listen to your teacher all class long. But instead, the student runs a class. With the guidance and help of all, with the teacher, Mr. Sando, we are a student-run enterprise where we are able to bring out unique designs to clients to appreciate. At the end of the day, there is no better feeling than seeing the amazement in the customers' faces. This class has not only been the best class, but has given us the life skills to stay on deadlines, communicate, create networks, problem solving, work as a team and also work independently. With the help of this class I can now take these skills and tools that I learned with me and use them in the future wherever it takes me. Hi my name is JP Castillo. I'm the multimedia productions teacher over at Vintage High School and Jacob Lloyd is my nominee for the Student Achievement Awards. I took digital media because I am interested in careers surrounding filmmaking and digital design around photos, but also just to express my creativity in a way I think is fun. I have made friends in this class and I wouldn't have met them otherwise, and we all love working together as if we were in a studio. I take big assignments seriously not just because we are in school, but because I actually am committed naturally because I'm passionate about it. I have learned to use Illustrator, Photoshop, Premiere, and After Effects through this program, and I continue to learn just by experimenting on my own. Which is probably one of the best parts, you learn mostly just by messing around and having fun. Something that I think is rare to find in other courses, and I'm glad to have chosen this class. Hi, I'm Tom Doherty, the Automotive Technology Instructor at Vintage High School. And this year's nomination for the Student Achievement Award is Jack Simpkins. AutoShop has helped me better understand how to work on vehicles. It helped my knowledge in mechanics grow and learn more about mechanics and how it works. I have also learned about the different tools used in mechanics. I first started working on cars with my grandpa when I was 13 years old. I fell in love with mechanics and have been pursuing the career. I'm going to WyoTech in September to learn about diesel mechanics and become a diesel tech. This program has impacted my life in a very positive way and it is great going to a class to do what you love. It was great to have this class and to have a head start into the mechanic trade. It was really fun to build the electric car and learn about electricity. Hi, my name is Natalie Sanchez. I am the agricultural instructor teacher at Vintage High School. I would like to introduce to you my student achievement award winner, Stephen Cole. The career readiness opportunities that the Vintage High School Agriculture Education Program offers is without a doubt unlimited and empowering. 
As I have endeavored my journey in FFA and in the agricultural program, it has inspired me to pursue a career in agriculture, to share my passion with others. This program has taught me many intellectual skills that will benefit me in my future career. The program offers its members knowledge in the area of animal husbandry, soil science, plant science, veterinary science, reproduction, genetics, marketing, and covers all aspects of agriculture. This program lays a foundation for kids to build off of, and that's what I am doing while loving every second of it. Hello everyone, my name is Coach Dylan Leach. I teach the Business Pathway at Vintage High School, and I'm honored to present as my Student Achievement Award winner, or honoree, Emiliano Garcia Marrero. Emiliano has been with me for a few years and is in the advanced class. He has a very bright future and he's a pleasure to be around and I wish him the best in life. Four years of high school goes by fast. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life after school. Then I joined business and marketing junior year. And after that, I knew exactly what I wanted to do for my adult life. CTE slash business and marketing is your dream class. This class teaches you about saving your money as efficiently as possible. Steps on starting your own business, learning to play with your strengths and weaknesses, and many more things. Leech invests a lot of time with diverse lessons that will give you a new and different outlook on the real world. Most students will forget the knowledge that Leech taught, but the few that remember will build a stronger future for themselves. Those two years spent learning in Leech's are things I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. Hi, I'm Barbara Nemko, Napa County Superintendent of Schools, and I am very happy to be with you for this celebration of CTE achievement. I wish we were there together in person, but we do the best we can. I really want to emphasize how proud everyone is of what you've achieved. And you've achieved it in areas in which employment is very likely. Employers are looking now for people who have skills, people who can do things, and you are those people. And not only do you have the specific skills of the classes that you were in, but you were also picked because of your excellent interpersonal skills, because you're hard workers, you've shown responsibility, you've shown that you're willing to go the extra mile. And again, those are the things that employers will want. So as I look at what you've achieved, I think in this very strange time that none of us have ever lived through before, and hopefully you will never again see anything like this in your lifetime, uh, Given all that, I still think that you have a bright future ahead of you, and I wish you every success. Hello, my name is Kent McCarley. I teach computer science at New Technology High School. My Student Achievement Award honoree is Thomas Carter. Over four years of taking Mr. McCarley's computer science class, I've had the opportunity to learn multiple coding languages and to learn problem-solving skills to help understand and create solutions to real-life dilemmas. Some projects that just scrape the surface of what I've been able to accomplish consist of creating a website from scratch, helping create solutions of problems for real local businesses, and to create code that helps drones fly away from objects they're about to collide with. This class has already given me the skills, logic, and knowledge essential in the professional world of computer programming. Even though my current plans are to join the Air Force and major in chemistry, everything I'm learning can be translated to any field of study or project. This program has taught me to come up with unique solutions to real life problems while understanding the limits and possible uses of my own knowledge. Hi, this is Lisa Gottfried. I teach digital design at New Technology High School. And my award for student of the year goes to Avery Dropping. When I came to New Tech, it was in Ms. Gottfried's class, something clicked. My love for all things digital art grew as I created countless art pieces and videos. Working on the Lighted Arts Festival and the Creative which I was project manager for, is what meant the most. We captured global audiences and submissions. In my sophomore year, I became an alpha tester for Photoshop on the iPad. From there, I went to a one-week internship at the San Francisco offices. When the testing was wrapping up, I reached out to the project manager and was able to have another two-week internship last summer. I worked with the Adobe team, tested the product, and analyzed feed customer feedback, accumulating it into an official report. 
Being in this pathway has given me countless opportunities I wouldn't have thought possible. In college, I hope to continue working with Adobe and following this career path. Hello students, parents, and teachers. Congratulations to all the students who the Napa County Office of Education has selected to receive a Career Technical Education Student Achievement Award. I wish that I could be there in person with you to honor your accomplishments and hard work. I hope you know how proud we are of each and every one of you. Your steadfast efforts and work ethic have paid off. Even though this school year has been like no other, I'm sure that you and your teachers have made the absolute best of every difficult situation. For students returning next year, I hope that you continue your efforts and expand upon the skills that you have already learned. For those of you graduating this year, congratulations. You have done what no one else has ever had to do. This experience has made you stronger individuals and has built character that will stay with you for the rest of your lives. I'm sure that whether you seek a career in the career technical education field or go on to college or right into the workforce, you will be successful in whatever you choose to focus on. Again, congratulations to all of you. A big thank you to the staff, teachers, and parents that have helped you along the way, but you are the ones that have earned it. Congratulations. Hi. My name is Phil Jinsky. I teach uh, robotics and engineering at Napa High School. And I'd like to introduce uh, my student achievement award for this year, William Harvey. As a freshman, I joined the robotics class because of my interest in engineering principles and applied math and science. I learned important concepts such as simple programming, prototyping, structural engineering, buoyancy, and most critically, computer-aided design. I took these principles and applied them in a competitive and challenging environment the first robotics competition. Thanks to these foundational principles and the robotics and machine tech teachers, I am able to do real engineering from the first prototype to the final product and compete with others around me in the subject I am most passionate about. Because of this class, I continue to challenge myself and learn every day. Hi, my name is Ron Solomon and I teach manufacturing and product development at Napa High School. And I'd like to introduce my star CTE student of the year, Diana Calderon Montanez. I took this path because a friend referred me to the class and I found it, found it interesting. By taking this class, it has shown me a new passion that I have for engineering. This class has improved my social skills because when others need help, I can explain what I can do for them. I also learned that I'm more of a person who doesn't like to get their hands dirty all the time, so I learned how to work on computers. My plan after high school is to go to a four-year college and continue engineering. This class that I am taking will help me move faster in the program because I won't be new to the materials when I start working. The teacher makes the class enjoyable and is very supportive of our decisions. He pushes us to do our best and sees potential in all. Good morning. My name is Loretta Bolding. I'm currently a teacher at Napa High School. I teach medical biology and human anatomy and medicine. I chose Lena Dimsky as my student of the month. Lena, I look forward to you accomplishing everything you put your mind to in life. Congratulations. My name is Lena Dimsky and I took the human anatomy and medicine course because it relates to what I would like to study in college, that being kinesiology as I would like to pursue a career in physical therapy. This course allowed me to learn so much about the human body, the organs inside it, and their functions, but also how to deal with real-world situations, such as how to identify an emergency situation and how to deal with it. Not only is this course captivating and informative, but it has also deepened my passion for the subject by constantly being entertained. Hello, my name is Judy Ashwanden, and I would like to introduce to you our Student Achievement Award winner in the area of agriculture, Stephanie Rios. Taking the agroscience pathway at St. Helena High School opened up numerous opportunities that have helped me find a field of interest. I have learned about science and its connection to agriculture, along with the different systems involved. Being in an ag class has given me the opportunity to learn about the agriculture industry and develop a multitude of skills that will continue to benefit me throughout my future, such as communication, time management, budgetary, and others. 
Through my enrollment in an ag class, I have become an active member of the FFA organization, where I have had the opportunity to raise livestock, attend leadership conferences, participate in public speaking competitions, and more. My involvement within the program has allowed me to gain an appreciation for the industry, and my passion for the agriculture classes have given me the chance to find a career that will continue to benefit me. Hi, I'm Sarah Herdell at St. Helena High School, introducing my Student Achievement Award winner in the area of ornamental horticulture, Jade Bartolucci. Hi, my name is Jade Bartolucci. I've been lucky to take all of the plant science pathway classes at St. Helena High School with Ms. Herdell. I took viticulture and then horticulture for two years. Uh, after taking floral design as a freshman, I decided to take the horticulture class the next year. Then, my junior year, I took viticulture and horticulture again. I really enjoyed doing the winemaking project at Davies Winery and loved getting to work in the vineyard and winery. I've always enjoyed gardening at home and taking this class helped me to learn more about plants and propagation. Within both viticulture and horticulture, we studied soil and nutrients, so I feel like I have a good grasp on plant care. My junior year, I was the only second year horticulture student in the class, so I was able to take on more of a leadership role and was deemed the student manager of the garden and greenhouse. Hi, I'm Sarah Herdell at St. Helena High School, introducing my Student Achievement Award winner in the area of floral design, Terilyn Elkins. Throughout my three years in high school, I have had the chance to experience some of my favorite classes within the floral design pathway with Ms. Herdell. Last year, I took floral design, and this year, advanced floral design. I was interested in taking floral because I've always loved flowers and wanted to learn more about them and also arranging them. This year I also joined the Floral Design Enterprise where we take special orders and fill those within our campus floral shop. We create designs for community events, on campus events, weddings, and more. We sell arrangements for holidays, make corsages and boutonnieres for prom, and do all the senior night flowers for sports on campus. My favorite projects to create are holiday arrangements. I would love to work at a florist someday and hope to take more classes in college. Hello, my name is Randy Mendes, and I am the Agriculture Mechanics Pathway teacher at St. Helena High School. And my Student Achievement Award winner is Jesse Cole. I enrolled in the Ag Mechanics Pathway because I wanted a hands-on learning experience that would help me develop important skills that could be used in the real world. This pathway has prepared me for a career as well as providing opportunities to advance my education. Through this pathway, I've gained experience in fabrication and highly desirable skills in computer-aided design. These skills ensure that I can get a start on a career right out of high school, but I've also gained crucial skills in teamwork and communication that would immensely benefit my endeavors in college. Hello, I'm Carl Turner. I'm the Culinary Arts Instructor for St. Helena High School, and I'm proud to have my Student Achiever honoree is Ali Francis. Culinary wasn't something that automatically popped into my mind when I first thought of taking an elective my freshman year. But my love for cooking landed me in the class and I've never regretted stepping into the kitchen once. I learn something new every day and I feel more prepared for the workforce with each experience I encounter. Teamwork, leadership, budgeting, and flexibility have all been essential skills I practice weekly. Tools essential to any job. Cooking is also a necessary survival skill when it comes to college. While a career in the kitchen isn't my ultimate dream, culinary has sparked an interest in working for the FDA. While cooking is the main portion of my curriculum, sanitation and other food-related laws have crossed my path frequently. I can't thank Chef Turner enough for his patience and his mentorship. It has opened a whole new avenue for my future and for me. Thank you, Chef. Hi, I'm Cecilia Aguiar Curry. I am your assembly member for the 4th District, which represents Napa County. Um, I wanted to take a moment to congratulate the students who are being recognized by the Napa County Office of Education for their outstanding achievements in career technical education, or as some of us know it as, CTE. You demonstrate a strong work ethic, leadership, abilities, and a passion for your chosen, for your chosen career. I am a big fan of CTE. My father was a high school agriculture teacher, and I know the importance of hands-on, solid leadership and academic foundation for these kinds of projects. From technical skills, hands-on work experience, it's so vital for growth and development. In, a, in addition with the CTA, it allows you to experiment with different careers because we think we're going down one path and all of a sudden we realize that we have a different passion. So I want to send a big thank you to uh, all those that the instructors for CTE, congratulations to all the families, all those that have mentored you, 
and have, are supporting you. So congratulations to the students. It's a, a great day when these things are behind us. Uh, I hope one day you're sitting at home thinking, wasn't that a great experience having all that uh, knowledge I was taught during the CTE classes. So I wish you great luck in the future uh, and congratulations. Hi, my name is Eric Perry and I teach the Building Trades Pathway at Calisoga High School. This year, my Student Achievement Award goes to Esme Rivera. Hello, my name is Esme Rivera Castro. I go to Calisoga Junior Senior High School and I'm also a senior. My journey started in seventh grade when I decided to take woodshop. I never worked with big machines before, but the funny thing is I was the only girl that wasn't afraid of using the big machines. In the beginning, I did feel a little awkward because I was the only girl in that class. But then the guys who were in my class started to ask me for help, which I thought was pretty cool. Since then, I've looked forward to going to class every single day because I thought I was in the right place. After five years of workshop, I'm currently the teacher's assistant and helping other kids with their projects. This path has really helped me learn that anyone can do whatever they put their minds to. Not only that, but also it also introduced me to a new career such as owning my own construction business someday. Hi, I'm Heather Brooks, the Chemistry and Physics of Alternative Energy teacher for Calistoga High School. And I'm here to introduce you to my Student Achievement Award winner, Lauren Rosette. I was introduced to the Alternative Energy Pathway when I entered physics in my sophomore year. The Alternative Energy Pathway has greatly impacted my career choice in the future. As a junior, I am currently taking chemistry class where we learn several helpful tools that we can use in the future. From making homemade water filters, recycling plastic bottles, and making pH indicators from vegetable juice to determine and calculate the acidity of different solutions. Also, this pathway encourages students to become innovators by joining the engineering club. Through the engineering club, students can work together as a group to take on a challenge from the tech challenge competition with the objective of solving a real life problem. Through this pathway, I was able to hone my innovative and leadership skills by conducting research and various projects that are assigned or leading a group in the engineering club. After high school, I plan on going to a four year college and study mechanical engineering. This pathway also offers internship opportunities, which I'm currently looking forward into. In order to gain an insight on the real life application and different industries. What I like most about this pathway is how hands on the projects and labs are. This year in chemistry class, we've recycled plastic bottles and created 3D print filaments to build tools that are functional, environmentally friendly and innovative. Hi, my name is Maggie Swarner. I teach at Calistoga Junior Senior High School and I teach biotechnology in the health science and medical technology pathway. My Student Achievement Award winner is Alexa Cesares. Congratulations, Alexa. When I signed up for biotechnology, I did not know what to expect. All I knew was that I wanted to make my parents proud. They have always been there for me and I needed to repay them with academics. I signed up for a CTE-related class thinking that it would make my parents happy. It turns out that it made me happy as well. Biotechnology quickly became one of my favorite classes. I never thought that I would like science until I discovered the world of CTE. CTE has encouraged me to step outside of my comfort zone and test my limits. Without this pathway, I would have never been able to explore the possibilities and the types of careers that are associated with this program. Even though this is the end of another school year, I know that this is only the beginning of my future. Hi, I'm Congressman Mike Thompson. Congratulations to you guys, our incredible local students. You've been recognized by your teachers as exemplary students in the career and technical education fields. From carpentry to nursing to agriculture, you are truly the best of the best here in our county. I'm so proud of all your hard work this year and proud of the dedication you have to these career fields, even at such a young age. As the husband of a nurse, I know the skill and technical expertise needed for this kind of work. And I know that you go the extra mile to make it happen. So congratulations, 
and I can't wait to see what you do next. Hello, my name is Anna Ishu and I teach the Business and Finance Pathway at American Canyon High School. I would like to introduce to you our Business Achievement honoree, Clarissa Tolson. Hello, my name is Clarissa Tolson and the CTE pathway I went through was college and career readiness and internship. This class definitely was one of my favorite classes ever because I got the opportunity of exploring the career path I wanted to go into. I was able to intern at Napa at a place called Neuro Spring. I want to have an impact on the world through research and work to find a cure for things like cancer, Parkinson's, and schizophrenia. Hello, my name is Chuck Peckinpah and I teach the construction pathway at American Canyon High School. My student achievement award this year goes to Ellie Angle. Hi there, I'm Ellie Angold and I will be graduating this year from American Canyon High School. Since I was little, I've always been fascinated with how things were put together. I just loved working with my hands to solve problems that made people's lives better. Taking construction at American Canyon High School taught me so much. I learned how to use the tools in our shop, how to effectively communicate with my peers, and so many other skills that I'll take with me in my future. After high school, I will be attending Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, and I will be majoring in bioresource and agricultural engineering, a broad yet in-depth exploration of all types of engineering. Thanks to the construction program here at ACHS and the encouragement of Mr. Peckinpah, I was able to further develop the interest I have for STEM. This program has given me all the tools that I'll need to be successful in college and beyond. And go Mustangs. Hello, my name is Alan Calhoun. I teach the culinary CTE pathway at American Canyon High School. And I would like to introduce my Student Achievement Award honoree this year, Spencer Blunt. Hi, my name is Spencer Blunt. Going into high school, I wasn't sure what elective I wanted. I spent a few days looking over all the choices. I eventually picked culinary arts. Going into the CTE class, I would say, has been one of my best choices. There are many benefits of being in a class like this, and it's fun to learn basic culinary skills. You get to meet a lot of new people, and you get to eat all the food you make. I highly recommend taking the culinary program because it's such a fun program, and you can learn so much about how restaurants and kitchens are ran. Before I went to the culinary program, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do after high school, but because of this program, I've decided to go into the culinary industry. Hi, my name is Michelle Davis, and I teach the sports medicine pathway at American Canyon High School. My Student Achievement Award nominee is Veronica Valdez. I first started the sports medicine course just to fill up an elective space, which now looking back, I'm glad I did, because it has helped me to shape my future. So far, it has taught me study habits, how it is to take a fast-paced class, research skills, presenting skills, teamwork, doing independent work, taping, wrapping, and so much more. All around, this program has made me successful and I feel that it has set me up for when I'm in college, as we do a lot of research and go in depth when learning about the body and its functions. It also helped me to determine my future career as we did a portfolio on various careers and what needs to be done to get there. And because of that one project, I am now going to continue this journey to become a physical therapist in the near future by attending Cal State Fresno. We hope you enjoyed the video that we created for you. Again, congratulations to all the students for all the hard work that you've done all year long. A big thank you to all of our business partners and our elected officials, our county superintendent, Barbara Nimco, and our board for all of their support. Um, to the parents and the guardians of the students and especially to all of our teachers for all the hard work that they have done. And to the students, congratulations one more time and have a great summer.